Hi there. My name is Julia. I feel like I've got a little bit of like lion hair going on today. I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I kind of like it, so I don't want to brush it, but it's cray cray. Okay, so today I am feeling particularly inspired to create a uh, video around this idea of trust. Specifically, because over the last week I've been offering some complimentary coaching sessions where I've been specifically asking to connect with women who want to experience greater freedom or greater depth in terms of their relationships and in their finances because I have not specifically coached in this area before. And so I want to gain some confidence in it and I want to gain some feedback from the people that I'm working with. So I've offered to do five complimentary coaching sessions just in exchange for this feedback so I can gain some of my own, um, not clarity, yeah, just, like a sense of empowerment that, okay, this is an area that I can actually help women in. I mean, and in saying that, I know that I can help women because I've helped myself in these areas, but there's still this part of me that wants to know that I can translate my knowledge to helping other people outside of myself. So that's all fine, that's all great. The thing, however, is that I had a few people respond to my posts and say that they didn't trust the offer, that it seemed like it was a scam or like a pyramid scheme or they just didn't feel like it was um, like legitimate, that I was just trying to get something or whatever. I had these stories of mistrust in their head. And when I first read the posts, I noticed myself feeling a little triggered, like this person doesn't even know me, how dare they judge me like this, and like why is this feeling of, of trust, uh, a mistrust rather, showing up in my awareness right now? Because I recognize that anything that shows up as a trigger is not something that's happening to me, but it's something that's happening for me. So I've been growing more accustomed to just checking in and asking myself, like, what is the gift in this? Why is this experience of being judged in this way triggering me so much? So the first thing that came up was that in the past, especially as I was trying to build my business, I wasn't really sure how to reach out to people. I wasn't really sure how to build those connections that I truly desired and to also put my gifts out in the world in a way that felt authentic to me. So sometimes I felt as though I was trying to take something by giving something for free. So I'm aware that this story is something that I've done in the past, which is why in this instance, I'm quite positive that I'm not doing that. However, now that I'm reconnecting more with what it means to have a secure attachment, a secure sense of self, I've been asking myself, well, even if that is something that I've done in the past, it was still a learned behavior and something that most likely was done to me. So I then asked myself, well, where did I get that from? Where did I experience that in my own life? And the awareness that I had that I want to now share with you is that when I was growing up, I didn't always trust love. It didn't always seem to me like something that was authentic and unconditional. It often felt like there were strings attached or like I had to give away a part of myself to meet someone else's needs. And the example that came to mind was when family would come over to visit and they would come up to me and be like, oh, I want to give you a hug. And as much as they were presenting it as something like, oh, I want to give you this gift, I want to give you my love, for me, it felt rather invasive because I was in my own world, I was playing, I was doing my own thing, and then all of a sudden I had to stop doing what I was doing and focus on meeting this other person's needs, which they were telling me 
was love, but to me it didn't feel loving. It felt intrusive, it felt invasive, it felt like they didn't really care about me and my needs and what I was doing and the fact that I was just happily playing and now I have to stop because this other person walked into the room. So having that awareness, it makes sense to me why some people would be mistrustful of this idea of someone just wants to give something because they want to give something or because they want that feedback or because they actually are being completely honest. And it really resonates for me because I recognize that in my own life I had these stories and these beliefs that when someone was trying to give me something i.e. a hug or their love or whatever it was, they really were trying to take something. They wanted the hug. It was more about me giving them a hug than it was about them giving me the hug. Or it was more about their needs and wants rather than my needs and wants. So having this awareness at now is a very beautiful thing because, I mean, as a child, it's hard for us to be able to stand up for ourselves and just express like, hey, I don't want to hug right now. Most likely as a child, you would get yelled at by your parents for <laughs> telling your aunt that you don't want to hug or that you're going to continue playing your video game or whatever it is. But as adults, we have that power and that awareness to say, I don't want this. This doesn't feel right for me. This doesn't feel good for me right now. I'm not accepting touch or I'm not accepting hugs. I just, I feel like I want to be protective of my own energy. It's nothing personal. I super love you, but it's just not what I'm needing right now. And it is such a gift to be able to acknowledge within ourselves what our boundaries are, but also what our needs are and to ask for them to be met. So I wanted to share that insight with you because A, attachment theory just is really fascinating me right now and I want to share all of the knowledge that I have, but I'm also just curious if this resonates with you in any way. If you can recognize in your own life when someone was giving something but it felt more like they, was, they were taking. And maybe you've done this too, which makes perfect sense if it was done to you that you would then do it to other people because you were taught that it was normal. So maybe in your own life, you'll start to notice that, oh yeah, sometimes I do ask to like have attention from other people when I'm really just trying to get something or maybe I drop some <laughs> like muffins off at my neighbor's house because I want to talk about something. And not that those things are good or bad, they just are. And it's an awareness to check in and ask, how does this make me feel? What is my body telling me? Am I honoring my boundaries? <sighs> if you have a story that you want to share down below, I would love to hear your input. And otherwise, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, to check in and to just build that awareness within yourself. When am I actually giving for me and when am I giving for the other person? What am I trying to take? What am I trying to take from myself? All right, this is a bit longer than I anticipated, but it is what it is. Much peace and love, my wild wild hair today and I hope you are all going to have a beautiful Thursday.